Hey, this is Winker Reviews, and I will be doing a video on the movie Papillon about a man that is falsely accused of murder and tries to break out of prison and seek revenge on the false witness that sent him there. Now, right off the bat, I, I, this movie reminded me of Shawshank Redemption, but this movie is actually a lot worse, and not worse as in it's a bad movie, but worse as in the character on what the characters have to go through in this movie. It's a lot more intense and it's a lot more suspenseful and even violent. The acting is really good. Uh, the pacing is really good. Uh, I was actually afraid that Rami Malik would annoy me and I do like Rami Malik but sometimes his voice is really annoying and I honestly can't tell if that's how the character is supposed to sound or if he's just not that great of an actor. And again, I do really like Rami Malik, but his voice, I don't know what's going on with his voice. Like something's up with his with his voice, yeah. But overall the acting was really good. I really did like the characters. It's very thrilling. It will, it kept me on the edge of my seat. But one problem that I did have was one scene in particular. I won't give any spoilers, but there's this one scene where the characters are in danger and they're trying to get out of this situation and it's very fast paced and it's very like, oh my god, like what the heck's gonna happen? Like, oh my god, how are they gonna get out of this? And then the screen suddenly turns black, and then it cuts off, and the characters are in a completely different location, in a completely new setting, and it's like, what the hell? Like, how the hell did they get from point A to point B? And it almost felt, and I'm, again, I never read the book, and I don't know too much about the real life story, and how accurate this movie is. But, like, it's almost like the filmmakers couldn't think of a plausible way for the characters to get out of the situation. And so instead of, you know, trying to, instead of writing the ending of this, instead of trying to finish the scene, they just cut it off completely and then were in a new completely situation with all the characters. And again, I won't give any spoilers, but to me that felt like lazy writing. Like the when, like when the audience watches this, they're going they're invested in what's going on and then it just completely cuts off. And that was like like super disappointing because you know, I wanted to know what was going to happen next and they don't even show it. But yeah, that was the only real problem that I had with the movie. Uh, the I but I did like that the ending wasn't a typical Hollywood ending. It was, you know, really sad. It was really disappointing. Um, I had very mixed feelings. It's a good ending, but I did have very mixed feelings, and I actually left the theater feeling really sad. And another thing, the acting was really great. And I actually was very worried about Charlie, I think his name is Charlie Hun, Hun Nam, and he's a really, like, pretty character, like, he's a really, he has a really pretty face, and I was actually, he act, he reminds me of Channing Tatum, except he's a better actor, Charlie is a better actor, and so I was actually very worried that he was, I didn't, I never knew who this person, who this actor was until I saw this movie, but because of how he looked, I thought that the acting was going to lack. I thought that he was going to be like another Channing Tatum and that this movie was going to be really corny and that, and, you know, I just thought I didn't, wouldn't like him, but he's actually a really good actor and I was able to take him seriously. And Rami Malik, you know, he was, you know, his usual self. Like, he was real fragile. Because, yeah. You know, his acting was really good as well. 
And I would watch this movie again. Overall, I do give it a 7 out of 10. If you liked Shawshank Redemption, then I would definitely recommend this. This, this movie is actually a little better simply because of how suspenseful it is and how fast-paced it is. So yeah, thanks for watching.